I don't even know how to say it. It's the heartbreaker. It's an absolute heartbreaker, Roubaix. So you just gotta, you gotta be a gladiator. You gotta be a warrior. You fall off, you get back on, and just hope to God that your bike's fine. The whole day is hell, crashes, mud, and just the bone shaking cobbles. Someone said that you Hank, you got eight weeks to prepare for Paris Bay, you were riding. I would try and do about 350 a week, 350 k's a week. Uh, I would do some strength training. I would make sure I recovered. Um, I would do a little bit of skill stuff on gravel because it's not, it's, it's certainly no bitumen. So you want to be uh, riding on, on a gravel bike would be great because you can't replicate cobble. My era was rife. Uh, performance enhancing drugs in my era was a, a real problem in cycling. And I always like to say that you know, you can't put rocket fuel into a donkey and make him into a Melbourne Cup winner. What do you recall as your biggest moment in Paraguay? Whether it was a crash or you made the break? 17 k to go. I was away with Mark Welters in 1997. Paru Bay, I had the world champion Museo, I had Andre Schmil chasing me, I had two mate, teammates chasing me. I pulled my foot on Carrefour de Lazare. Literally, when I think about it now, it makes me sick in the guts. But for me, the coolest moment was probably coming through the Arenberg first and being away with 15k to go in Roubaix. So, you know, it's, it's always some bastard getting in the way in Roubaix. It's awesome. How do you manage toilet breaks? when you're racing a race like that, 260 k's. I didn't have to take a crap, that's for sure, but I did see Robbie McHugh and have diarrhea one day, fill up a, a cycling cap and throw it in into the field and the tourists ran after it and they thought it was a souvenir. <laughs> but um, bikes just normally just have a, have a uh, whiz in between the cobble sections, in and out, and off she goes. The hell of the north is the hell of the north. It's actual hell. I remember Teo De Roy back in, in the 80s saying it was the worst race he's ever done. And then they asked him, would he come back? And he said, of course I'm coming back. This is the most beautiful race on earth.